Hi, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the senior logic instructor for DubSpot and DubSpot Online. In this video, I want to talk about layering drums using Logic's Ultrabeat instrument. Ultrabeat is a really great drum machine sampler and drum synthesizer where we can actually create drum sounds from scratch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my DubSpot colleague Evan Sutton's earlier video about creating a kick and a snare in Ultrabeat as a jumping off point for this and use those sounds that he created as the basis for some layering. So when we're talking about layering drums, one of the things I think a lot of people misunderstand or approach maybe incorrectly is the fact that you want to think about each layer in terms of its frequency content as well as whatever sort of texture you're getting from the sound. So just taking, for example, three really subby kicks and layering them on top of each other, all we're going to do is just make the thing three times as loud and three times as subby. And in all likelihood, you probably would have just been better off turning up or compressing your original subby kick to get that volume. Instead, what we wanna do is we wanna think about the frequency contribution and the texture of each layer. So for example, we might take a subby kick and then an acoustic kick to get a little bit of noise and grit for the top part. And that's actually what I'm gonna do in this video. So I've created a little example track here. We'll just check that out and then we'll get into the tutorial. So there's my little, uh, my little musical idea that I'm going to use as an example. Now, what I've done is I've recreated the steps from Evan's Ultrabeat video, and I've actually just saved that as a little preset here. So this is where we're going to be at at the end of Evan's video. So we've got that nice subby 808 style kick and that sort of bright, noisy 808 style snare. And so what I want to do is add some acoustic texture to this to make it a little bit more sonically interesting. So let's start with the kick sound. Now here's something really important. Although I followed the steps in the video, I actually did it a little bit differently. So in Evan's video, he's using Oscillator 2 down here. What I've done is I've recreated it up here in Oscillator 1. The reason that I've done this is that each of these oscillators has a couple of different modes. So for example, Oscillator 1 can be a phase oscillator, do frequency modulation, or take a sidechain input. Whereas Oscillator 2 can also do a phase oscillator mode, but then it has the option of playing a sample or doing some physical modeling. So I wanna use this sampling capability of oscillator two, which is why I need my phase oscillator part of my sound to be coming out of oscillator one. So what I want you guys to do is just run through the steps in Evan's video, but place the sound up here in oscillator one instead of oscillator two. Okay, so let's check out this kick sound first. I'll just solo that. So we've got that nice subby bass there, right? So that's cool, but the sound is a little vanilla at this point. It doesn't have a lot of interesting texture to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on oscillator two and make sure it's set to its sample mode. The next thing is we're gonna load a sample in there. Now, I'm gonna use 
in the R&B remix kit in the Ultra Beat samples, I'm going to use this tight kick here. And you can preview these sounds just by hitting play. And I'm going to take that and throw it in there. Hit open. Okay, so now what we've got is this. So we're getting some nice mid-range and treble information on there along with our subby punch, right? Now, if we listen to this by itself by turning off the phase oscillator, right, we don't want to really, that's not going to cut it in our track, uh, you know, in hip hop or, or any kind of dance music. We really need that sub in there to make that kick really power through in the club, but we don't just want that vanilla sound. So by layering these now, we can get something pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and pitch it down a little bit. Let's try that. Just to get a little more dirt out of it. As you take things down and pitch, it's almost like you're down sampling them. That's a little further than I want to go, but you kind of bring out the dirtiness of the sound, and that's what I'm using this for. Now, the next tool that we have for shaping our sound here is the filter. The filter allows us to control what frequencies pass through to the output. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to shape my whole sound. I'm going to turn it on by clicking on filter and then make sure it's in low pass mode here, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pulling down my cutoff frequency. Now when we say low pass, what we mean is that it's going to allow everything beneath the cutoff frequency to pass and cut off the high information above. So let's just start pulling this down. So I like that. I like the darkness of that, but I don't like that I'm losing all the texture of my sample. So what we can do is here, this button allows us to choose whether this source here is going through the filter or whether it's just going directly to the output. So I'm gonna actually click this and take it out of the filter. So now we've got just the low frequencies from the synthetic kick and then the sample is giving us that dirt on the top. And then we can go in and adjust the levels of each voice. I think that's pretty nice. Okay, let's take a look at this snare. So right now I'm in basically the same state that Evan was in, although I'm running an extra copy of the phase oscillator down here. Turn this off for a sec. And I'm using my high pass filter to take out a good amount of the bass. This would be, that's more like the spot we'll be in at the end of Evan's video. And notice that again, I'm using the phase oscillator in oscillator one instead of in oscillator two because I want to use the sampler down here. So what I'm going to do is switch this one over to a sample and load in my small clap from the R&B uh, R&B remix kit. I'm going to hit open, and now let's just turn these off for a second. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pitch this down a little bit just to get a little more dirt and a little more grit in there. Let's put this together with the phase oscillator. Okay, so you see why I put that high pass in there. So the phase oscillator is just giving us that little knock. And then we're using the noise down here to create that rattly top part of the snare. And then when we add in our clap, I can adjust the volume a little bit. Maybe we can take this down a little more. Let's 
we're starting to get a little bit of interesting texture. Now, same deal. We could run this through the filter, but I actually like the little bit of bottom I'm getting from the pitch down clap. And then we can adjust, make a little less noise. to get to where we want. So by thinking about this in terms of the different frequency layers that we've had, so we've got our little bit of knock down here from the phase oscillator, some noise and some rattle from the noise generator, and then our acoustic organic texture from the sampler, now we can create a nice full sound. And then the last thing that I've done to get it to where you heard it was, I am running this through multiple outputs out of Ultrabeat through a little tape delay for the clap, um, some phaser for the hi-hats, and a little bit of, just a little bit of reverb uh, on the kick. If you want to learn more about me, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. And if you want to learn more logic stuff like this, you can check out our course at our school in Manhattan or through Dubspot Online by going to dubspot.com. I hope this has been helpful for you, and thanks very much for watching. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.